guys, it's Ramzilla here. Uh, today we're going to be talking about a movie called Clown. <laughs> Everything's going to be fun. Perfect. Mr. Clown? Dad, hurry, I'm going to be late. I physically cannot get it off. It's suffocating. One, two. Yeah. Uh, that movie is by, or it's not by Eli Ross, it's not written or directed by him, it's just produced by him. You know how they like to take Eli, Th Eli Roth's name and add it to all these crappy, shitty horror movies? Yeah, it's like that. Except this one is not a crappy, shitty horror movie. This one is really good. So, uh, just to give you a quick synopsis on what the movie is, it's about... A uh, guy who works in real estate and in this house as he's looking around, he happens to find this clown costume. But the thing is that there's something more to that clown costume that he did not expect. So, um, yeah, I know the premise sounds really, uh, how can I say it? It sounds kind of gay. Not gay. It sounds kind of dull, kind of boring. But it's actually really good. Like, the movie was really good. Better than I thought it was. The story, the plot, everything was so good. It just... It's not scary or anything like that. Unless you're afraid of clowns. If you have, like, a high fear of clowns, and just don't avoid this movie at all costs. This, this will only hype up your fear by, like, a million. <laughs> but this movie is really cool. It, it uses some really cool effects. Um... It, they used practical effects, or it looks like they used some practical effects. It didn't look like they went with CG with the practical effects. Actually, no, I take that back. There is one part that they did use, or it looked like CG. I'll go over that in a minute. But, um, yeah, let's get into the movie, shall we? So, this movie starts out simple enough. Uh, it's a little boy's birthday party, clown-themed, you know. It turns out that's the main character's son. And... Then the mom gets a call from this clown company. It turns out that they don't have a clown to send. So she calls the husband, which is a real estate guy. And like I said, as he's looking around in this house for a backup, he finds this clown costume. He puts it on, shows up at the kids' show, etc. Et now he falls asleep on the couch with the clown costume on. The next morning, uh, his wife is like, oh, you're taking the kid to work. I'm sorry, you're not taking the kid to work. You're taking the kid to school. And so, as he tries to get the clown costume off, he can't. It seems like it's stuck on him. He doesn't know why. So, what happens is that uh, the movie, it starts, you know, unrolling like a snowball. You know, uh, he goes to this other house and he tries to saw it off. And the saw just breaks. It just, pfft, like nothing. And he goes home, and he can't get it off, and his wife is trying to help him get the nose off. So as she's doing that, she notices that his wig, that's uh, different colors, it's turning into his real hair. Like, it's turning into his actual uh, roots of his hair, you know, it's taking over his hair. And so she manages to take the clown nose off, but it takes part of his skin off. It was kind of trippy. And he's like, ah, fuck, Why? Why won't this clown costume come off? So he starts looking for answers and he finds this one guy, like the maker of the clown costume. And that's when things get really trippy. Alright. Now, after this point, um, I will be getting into spoilers. So if you don't want to know what happens in the movie or if you want to watch it. And, you know, you want to avoid all spoilers and skip ahead towards the end where I'm going to let you know what I give this movie. Uh, if you don't care about spoilers or don't care about this movie and don't want to watch it and just want to know what happens, feel free to stay. But you have been warned. So he gets to this guy and this guy, you know, he starts showing him all these different drawings about, you know, clowns and shit where, or the origins of clowns. Where it turns out that clowns were some type of medieval creature that used to lure kids. And he used to eat them. Like one kid for every month up until the winter. Up until the winter. Up until winter. December. 
So then, or at least that's what I understood. Was, that part was kind of hard to keep up. So then what happened is um, he's giving him tea and then he knocks out. And when he wakes up, this guy is trying to cut off his head. <laughs> and he doesn't. He ends up getting off and missing and just hits his shoulder. He's like, what the fuck, man? What's wrong with you? So he ties him up and takes him with him. So as he's going home, he gets home. He's like, oh, babe, you know, this guy tried to cut off my head and this and that. And they're with friends, and the friend's like, yo, I hope this is some type of joke. So as he tries to leave uh, to go to the police station, his friend grabs him and tries to take off the wig. This guy just takes his arm, just breaks it like, and the bone pops out, there's blood, and he's like, ah. So uh, fast forwarding a couple bits, it turns out that that costume is some type of a demon, where whoever wears it starts turning into a demon, or a clown demon, and eats kids that's it so from here on out um he starts turning into this demon he starts trying well he starts eating little kids and shit fast forwarding a couple of events here she goes to the guy because he ends up in the hospital and tries to save her husband so she goes to the warehouse finds a couple clues here and there etc and he she, well he tells her the only way is to cut off his head so the husband is almost like full demon by now and what happens is he ends up at like a Chuck E. Cheese type of place and the girl and the guy that was hospitalized go and look for him to help him and he's all up eating children there like all over the place and um anyways it's something ends up happening that I'm not gonna spoil I mean I did say spoilers but I'm not getting into this where the alarm goes off and they find him and this one guy tries to cut off his head and he just goes, he grabs the axe and knocks him out. And then he tells the wife that, you know, if he eats one more kid, the de now this is the demon talking, if he eats one more kid, he'll leave, he'll give her back her husband. And he wants his son. I just remember his name, it's Jack. So anyways, uh, he leaves and he tells her to take her to, uh, to take the kid to their favorite place. So she does that and nobody's there so she ends up leaving going back to the house and she turns and it turns out that the dad is there like her dad he's like oh I'll help you you know I will clean up the blood and da 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 and this is the part that I was talking about that looks CGI the demon comes and just rips off his jaw like <laughs> that part looks pretty CGI and uh besides that the rest of the movie the effects are really cool they're all practical and so, fast forwarding a couple of events here, um, she ends up cutting off the dude's head, and that's it. And um, the, all there is to it, really. So, overall, this movie was really, really good. I enjoyed it a lot. The practical look effects were really cool. This is kind of a neat twist on the clown origins. I mean, I'm not a big fan of clowns. I mean, I'm not scared of clowns either. So I don't know much about clowns. All I know is that this movie is really good. I really do suggest you check it out. Um, I believe it's on... It's going to come out sometime this year on Video On Demand or something along those lines. So once this movie is on Video On Demand and in select like theaters or something, be sure to uh, give it a go. This movie is really cool. So overall, I'm giving this movie... Uh, I'm, I'm debating between a 9 and a 10. Uh, I'm going to give this movie a 10 out of 10 just because I liked it a lot. So, this movie gets a 10 out of 10. Go ahead and if you've already seen it, let me know what you think about it in the comments below. If you haven't seen it, go and once you do see it, be sure to come back and then let me know in the comments below what you think about it. If you didn't like it or whatever, then go ahead and still let me know. If you have any other horror movies for me to watch, um, go ahead and suggest them in the comments and I'll be more than glad to review them. Once again, this is Ramzilla signing off. What are you doing down there, Daddy? Come downstairs. I want to see my number one birthday boy. <laughs>